Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Chula Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, well, welcome back guys. So this is Divine's masculine message to Divine Feminine today, or whenever you happen to see this video. If it resonates with you guys, fantastic. If it doesn't, then it's not your story. So take what does resonate, leave the rest behind. Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you haven't. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to turn my phone off. No distractions. All right. So, like I said, this Divine Masculine's message to Divine Feminine. So, the first card coming through for you guys says, never needed anyone the way I needed you. I feel more and more as time passes with you guys, as more as more, as more as more, as, if I could even speak today, as let me let me just back up for a minute. <laughs> They're coming in with a bunch of different messages, and I want to make sure I get this right for you guys. This divine masculine, whoever this divine masculine is, the collective masculine message is that it's been through a lot of reflection, a lot of hermit mode, a lot of being by themselves, being away from you, registering where they are in their life, registering what they truly want out of life. It's this, you know, energetic feeling like you have always been something important to them. You have always been something that they wished for and they prayed about. This divine masculine is coming through with a message of they have never needed anyone in their life the way that they need and feel for you. For some of you, this divine masculine is saying, regardless of what's going on in my circumstance, regardless of where I am, regardless of what I'm doing, I need you to know that you were the only one who ever mattered. And it's like that time apart, that silent treatment, that ghosting, the non-communication, feels like every little bit of moments that they have away from you it's it, it's bringing so much more clarity towards them i'm feeling like the why it's so hard to get this message out is because the divine masculines are in this place of wanting to speak to you, wanting to get something off their chest, wanting to talk to you, wanting to deliver this message, but I feel choked up, right? I don't feel like, I don't know the last time that I felt like I couldn't get a message across and I'm getting that type of feeling with this divine masculine where it's like, I want to get my point across. I want to tell them how I feel. I want to tell divine feminine how I feel. I want to express that I have all this love and admiration and, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how to open myself up and be vulnerable in that way. I don't know how to share what I need to. I don't know how to express, you know, for some of you, your divine masculine has never experienced a love like this. They have never experienced this much intensity, this much, but it's like, they know when they're not with you that they need to be with you. They know that not only is their body craving you and not just for sexual purposes, but it's like when they're around you, it, it just feels, it feels good. It feels like that's where they're supposed to be. And it's just this feeling of this divine ma masculine recognizing it so much more now than ever. For some of you, your divine masculine is feeling very blocked from you, whether you actually went and blocked him or whether he's just feeling like there's a blockage going on here with you guys. What else does divine masculine want divine feminine to know? He or she didn't mean anything. For some of you, there could have been a third party interference going on. There could have been, you know, a karmic situation or some type of situation where, you know, this person was entertaining someone else or engaging with someone else. And, you know, at the end of the day, that person didn't mean anything to this divine masculine. You know, it was just, I, I feel a way to escape what he was truly feeling about you. 
Yeah, gossip and hearsay. There's a lot of gossip and hearsay around this connection with this person. I felt like that could have been a major, a major thing that happened. Maybe there was too many interferences with, you know, people just talking shit, people saying shit, people saying shit about y'all's relationship or connection. Take that however it resonates, but maybe they're all, maybe the divine masculine is hearing some gossip or hearsay about you. What else did this divine masculine want to say to divine feminine? He feels very lonely without you. Yeah. His life is not making sense right now. Again, it's like being around you, your light, your vibe, your aura, your energy, just who you are, who you're trying to be is like he sees you as being someone who's so strong and someone who's so strong willed. And like, no matter what happens to you, no matter what gets thrown at you, it's this feeling of she never, she never falls down. She never lets her guard down. So it's like this lonely feeling. It's like he kind of wants to come in and swoop over and be like a protective barrier for you. Like for some reason, I'm getting that feeling of divine masculine wanting to come in and kind of console the divine feminine, protect the divine feminine, provide for the divine feminine, because he knows that she needs that. He knows that she's deserving of that. And it's like he is being called to do that. He's being called to come in and, and protect her and provide for her. But he's feeling lonely without you because, like I said, there's a lot on this Divine Muslim's mind right now. I am trusting the Divine Time while we both learning and heal. So you both are learning and healing through this situation, through this connection together. But it's definitely a divine timing situation where it's not gonna happen when the well, it's not gonna happen when you want it to happen, it's gonna happen when the universe wants it to happen. So I feel like whether you're in contact with this person or not, it, it's literally in the universe's hand. It's in God's hands. I will be reaching out to you the next 24 hours. Some of you, this divine masculine is going to be reaching out to you in the next 24 hours because he wants to talk. He wants to express himself towards you. He wants you to know what he's thinking and feeling because like I said, he's feeling very lonely right now. He's feeling like he's blocked from your life. He's blocked... You know, he can't see access to you or he doesn't know what's going on in your life. He doesn't know who you're with. He doesn't know who you're entertaining. You know, he's starting to realize, you know, truly what this connection means to him. But he also knows it's a divine timing situation too. So I feel like for some of you, this divine masculine may have not really believed in spirituality or didn't really understand spirituality. But maybe like because of coming into contact with you, engaging with you, it's like he's able to see that, you were something that was sent to him by, by God. Some of you, this divine masculine is scared of rejection. He's scared of coming forward to speak his truth. He's scared of really opening himself up to you because he doesn't know how you feel. He doesn't know how you feel about the situation. He doesn't know if you want the same things as he does. He doesn't know what, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. Will you leave me like the others? For some of you, this divine masculine has abandonment issues. He's afraid to get attached because he feels like every time he gets attached, they leave or they give up on him. Right now, there could be something going on with you and the fact that you're triggering him. He feels triggered by you. What else is going on with this divine masculine? Please clear it. I've been lying to you. Some of you, this divine masculine has been lying to you and he knows he's been lying. Could be that he was entertaining someone else at the time of being in connection with you. And he knows he should have been honest with you about that. And so he's coming forward to let you know that I have lied to you. Something I've never told you. For some of you, this divine masculine wants to come forward and speak the truth towards you. He knows that that's what he needs to do if he wants to move things forward with you. I don't want to lose you. My life makes no sense without you next to me. Yeah. For some of you, your divine masculine's like, I know I need to, to come forward, to speak the truth, to share what I need to, to tell this divine masculine what she, what she knows already. Take that however you resonate, but that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Like they know. What else does this divine masculine want? Divine feminine to know, please. That he wants to do date nights and flowers with you. He wants to be romantic with you. He wants to take you out on the town. He wants to surprise you. He he wants to 
to show you what it is that he wants to show you. He wants to spoil you. He wants to treat you like the goddess and the queen that he knows that you are. My stupidity, I treated you poorly. Please forgive me. For some of you, your divine masculine's coming in and literally saying like, I know I never treated you the right way. I know that I never, you know, was the man that you needed me to be, but I want to come back and I want to make this right with you. I want you to forgive me. Oh, because I love you. For some of you, this divine masculine may have never said those words to you, but this, this divine masculine that I'm picking up, it's like the feeling of like wanting to tell you they love you have fallen in love with you, could see themselves falling in love with you, or they generally do really do love you. Mark my words, this is not over. I'm coming back. This divine masculine's coming back to make it right. Whoever needs to hear this, he's coming back to make it right. He wants to make this right with you. What else can I tell the collect or what else can I tell? He for some of you, this divine masculine's looking at you like I don't understand why I deserve a goddess and queen like her. Uh, everything that I've done in my life, everything that I've been through, everything that, you know, past relationships and past connections and family issues and friends issues. Like, I don't understand how I was able to receive such a, a beautiful blessing. You know, he, he looks at you like you're the most amazing thing he's ever laid his eyes on. And he does not feel deserving of you all or at all. Divine feminine. But without you, it's dark. And that's where the lonely feeling coming in is because you have this light about you. You have this energy about you. And I feel like being around you, it charges him up. It makes him feel like, you know, he, he, he just loves being around you. He loves being around you. And maybe he's kind of questioning that. Like, I've never had this type of intensity. Like I said to you guys earlier, I've never had this type of, type of um, this love is crazy. It's so funny because this divine masculine, you know, He's looking at the situation and shaking his head like, man, this woman is crazy. Like, but I'm fucking madly in love with her. Like she, she is way out of the ballpark, but I could see myself spending my life with her. I could see myself getting down on one knee and making her my wife. Like, even though this love is crazy, like I'm crazy about this woman. Like I see this woman everywhere I go. I see this woman in other people. Um, and I actually just had this happen to me yesterday. So I can see where the divine masculine is coming from. All right, let's get a closing statement. <clears throat> I feel empty without you. I'm changing and learning some hard lessons. So right now, this person is changing and learning some hard lessons. You know, they are changing for the better. They are going through spiritual shifts. They are going through spiritual awakening. They are doing what they need to do in order to be the divine masculine you need them to be. I'm sorry I put everything above you. This divine masculine is sorry for putting everything above you because he knows you never deserve that. He knows you deserve so much more. Ooh, as I drop my phone everywhere. All right. What are the closing statements for this reading, please? What are the closing statements for this reading? I want love in my life. For some of you, this divine masculine is like, you know what? At the end of the day, I do want to be in love. At the end of the day, I want to have love in my life. I want to be married. I, I want that way to pick a fence. I want to find someone that, you know, just awakens my spirit and makes me want to be better. And this divine masculine sees that with you. He, he sees that you make him better. You help him grow or you have helped him grow in some way. I can't let go of you. I'm reminded of you daily. I told you guys that. This divine masculine is seeing you everywhere. He's seeing you in other people. That's how he knows that this connection is different than anything else he's ever experienced in his life because it's like he knows he needs to be with you and he's going to do whatever he can. And, and, and ah, he's going to do whatever he can at any cost to make that situation right. I won't let you go. You're mine. I'll fight for you. This divine, this divine masculine is, is going to fight for you. He's going to fight for your love. He's not going to... He's not going to let go of you easy. All right, let me go. Closing statement. What is the closing statement, please, for divine masculine to divine feminine? What is the closing statement? What's the closing statement? Don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. For some of you, your divine masculine's literally coming through and saying, I know we have issues. I know we have, you know, things that have all, all, 
Oh my God, I can't speak today, man. What's going on with me? I know we have things that we need to fix. I know we have things that we need to work through, but it's kind of that message of, I'm not your exes. I'm not the past people that you've dealt with. And I, I just feel like it comes down to that where maybe sometimes he feels like he's being punished or penalized for the things that other people have done to you. He doesn't want to be alone. For some of you, the Savannah Maslin's like, I don't want to be alone anymore. You know, it's not that he can't be alone. I just feel like he knows that he, he'd rather be with you. I'm afraid to lose you, and I wish I could be fully honest with you. So for some of you, the Savannah Maslin doesn't want to lose you. He doesn't like the idea of you being with anyone else or the idea of someone else coming in and swooping you up. And there's something that he wants to talk to you about. I don't necessarily feel like it's a bad thing, but maybe it's just like, what he wants out of this commitment or this relationship. And it's like, he just wants to be fully honest about how he's feeling um, and maybe where he sees this um, connection going. So if that resonates guys, fantastic. Let me know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed to my channel and I shall see you guys again soon.